Hello everyone, uh, I'm Anna Vanilla at the channel Anna Vanilla Arts and I'm doing on this channel a lot of macrame, a lot of um, knotting, alpha knotting, uh, bracelets, but mostly I do uh, wall hangings because I prefer uh, to do more wall hangings in alpha style of knotting and I am showing you now a new design which I'm starting to, to do so it's 24 strings here on a wooden dowel so um, then there is a mouse as you can see the ear, the eye, the nose, the lips if I can say that the mouth has lips of course and this is the beginning of the heart that he holds in his paws and this is a tail and I straight away when I've seen this pattern I adored it and this is how much I actually done it by now I've done more uh, base strings knotting here I've done more knotting here so that the piece will not be straight under the dowel so that the mouse wouldn't be too much under the dowel and so it has more space to actually fit in here and at the end when I'll do I'll finish the mouse I will add this much the same amount of rows one two three four five six six rows at the end so it balances the lower part and the upper part and i adore it as you can see it's it's looking pretty well this is the pattern so this is a little mouse with hearts and this is the pattern this is how it's supposed to become afterwards and as you can see I've chosen the right colors uh, apart from red I've chosen the pink color very strong pink color with a little bit of um, um, sparkle in here it's got some sort of um, metallic sparkle as you need it's, it kind of sparkles when the light hits and the white also sparkles and as you can see it's a yarn it's not a thread so it's acrylic yarn on thread um, strings and as you can see I've um, it's pretty straight and I've done um, the, the edges pretty well in in this uh, piece and the mouse looks like a mouse which is good because sometimes when you don't do a great job um, the pattern just doesn't appear to be what it's supposed to to be on the actual pattern page uh, this pattern by the way I got from braceletbook.com braceletbook website it's number 292822 so it's a mouse with a heart and with a sign I love you very lovely very cute message indeed especially when you do such a thing like I love you with hearts with something as cute as a mouse you would do um, it would just be a very 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 pleasant gift to give to somebody you love so much because it carries the message of i love you so why not to please somebody you love and i am about um i'm about here so the third i am somewhere here so i'm somewhere the third way so I need to do the middle and we'll meet you when I would be at the middle of this project 
and we'll talk to you some more and then we'll do the i love you message so this is the middle of the piece so the mouse is as you can see is done with a heart now i am about to do the second heart which is this one here this one is here because it's, it says the message says i love you i love you and as you can see i started doing the i the u the heart in the middle because i already finished the main project which is the um the naughty mouse but um to be honest um i was thinking that maybe um this mouse uh, uh, is not yet done uh, b uh after i mean before finishing the message because the message is what is supposed to conclude in this piece as you can see it's somehow finished with the message so it balances out it makes a mouse to have something to stand on and as you can see it actually uh, stays nicely on his heart and it, it's it is balanced by the, the left and right I love you sign and I have removed the previous colors like um, the the years the very pale pink um the gray and the light gray and the black um and and the gray itself so I, as you can see i'm purely here uh, i love you is the next message i have to do i have to not hear and uh i'll come back and let you know about how it looks uh, afterwards after I've done the uh, the piece the message and I was thinking about doing a very interesting finish to this um, uh, project um, possibly with tassels that are knitted or knotted in pink color but pink color might be a bit too much because as you can see is the mouth is is the heart and the heart here there might be too much pink in here uh, so i might just do possibly white tassels and add some tiny tiny little accent like uh, this pink to every tassel to sort of balance the piece and to make it look more finished and more uh, positioned as you can see is quite nice the wooden dowel looks good and um, i quite like it I, I like the way it looks like it looks like a mouse as i said before and the heart looks like a heart the tail looks like a tail the ear looks like a ear the nose like a nose eye like an, uh, an eye and the body looks just like a mouse or a rat um and i think it's cute as i am in the year of a mouse i mean in the year of a rat i did like the idea of doing this piece uh, because i love it i love the composition the artwork is beautiful but also is i thought it's cute because it's a mouse and it's something close to me 
close to my heart because I am in the year of the red so I thought um, it's something um, close to me and I should do it and send out this message of I love you so I'll give this piece to my best friend and then show you the finishing part in the next couple of minutes when I do it hello 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 again I have managed to finish this project and this is my last video for this project and as you can see I finished the I love you message here I have plotted um, some uh, some some obviously the basic thread that was going through the middle and from beginning of this project and as you can see it looks nice it looks finished it looks um, um, quite joyful as you can see pinkish color here as well as here and somehow it just works and balance uh, balances the piece and as you can see everything it's matching quite well is positioned right um, the the space here uh, where I've counted is about one two three four five five rows I've done five rows here as well so that it's got even the space uh, in between the piece to make sure it looks nicer and rather than being pushed under the dowel as it seems here I've done a little bow here uh, I was thinking about doing actually a pink bow, pinkish bow, like here and here. But I thought I'll just do white. It's simple, straightforward. And I've done this piece where you can hang it on a wall. And at the moment I'm hanging on this one. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite a joyful pattern have a look it's nice i love it for example i think it's very cute it's it was a hard work somehow anyway but as you can see it's all even straight edges uh the change of colors seems to be done quite well i have also uh, finished and hidden the um, the ends of the yarn so it doesn't pop out so it's not visible when you hang on the wall I left the middle ones as they are because they're not long and they're not visible but the edges from the edges I did hide uh, with a thread a needle um, the strings as you can see and it's quite tight tidy i think it looks quite well it doesn't look too busy and i love it i love it and love it i love the strings it reminds me of the strings that i used to have as a kid as a child back in my childhood um and i did love to do plaiting on my hair and I thought I'm going to do in this piece as well and I'll do just three I wanted to do more plaited um, strings here but then I thought no I think three will be just about right and not to make this project a bit too busy with elements and so on so I was thinking well three will be just fine and I've done an easy and um, free sort of um, not too tight the plot 
on the strings as you can see it's quite loose here because I thought it's a project where it's everything it's very kind of relaxed and I love it I love the mouse uh, the message is nice I already know uh, the person I'm going to give this um, gift as a message of love to the person and um, wish you luck in doing this project yourself so thank you very much for watching and subscribing and welcome to be my friend bye bye